E3 season. Or at least it would have been had they not canceled it. However, it's not much of a loss, as the last couple of weeks saw a number of gaming showcases, from the Summer Games Fest, to the Gorilla Collective, to the Ubisoft Connect, and of course the Xbox Showcase, which everyone's still talking about. One presentation I heard very little about is the Future Games Show, which is a shame because they came and showed off a number of interesting gameplay trailers. Some games you have seen before, while others were shown for the first time. I went through and picked out 10 trailers I really liked, along with a few honorable mentions, including a few things from the Gorilla Collective showing for good measure. I also added a link to wishlist each of them on Steam wherever applicable, so if any of them catch your eye, you can wishlist them and support the developers. One of my goals for this channel is to spotlight different games, mainly indies, or in some cases, titles that are mainstream, but are more AA rather than AAA. I know a lot of people are tired of the usual mainstream gaming slog, so I want to help give you guys something different. I also like to cover retro games along with cool game related toys. If any of that sounds good to you, you can join the Mafia by hitting that subscribe button and clicking the bell icon. That way you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video. Now that that's out the way, let's hop on in. Described by developer Long Way Home as a car PG, players take the road in a post-apocalyptic world where they must build a team of racers to take down a mega corporation. Resistor features an extensive open world, bright and vivid graphics, characters that you can form bonds and relationships with, vehicle customization, and high-octane action. The game will be hitting PC on all of all current generation consoles in the near future. Seems like this game can offer something different for both RPG and racing fans. By the way, props to the developer for making a post-apocalyptic world that's actually colorful instead of dark and dreary. The world might be a dystopian nightmare, but that doesn't mean we can't have fun. Gameplay footage of the stealth action game Steel Seed was shown off at the Future Games Showcase. Developed by Storm in a Teacup, the game puts players in the role of Zoe, a cybernetically enhanced woman who travels a dystopian world in search of her father. Accompanied by a robot companion, Colby, she will have to make use of stealth in order to take on her opposition. As the game progresses, the bond between Zoe and Colby will develop and players can unlock new skills for the two of them to use. The game will release at some point in 2024 for PC, Xbox Series X, and PlayStation 5. The game's Unreal Engine 5 powered graphics are gorgeous to see in action, so let's see if the gameplay can match the same type of energy. Developed by Ember Trail and set for release later this year on PC, Distant Bloom is a cozy plant management simulator where players are tasked to revive a dead alien planet. Players will have to cultivate and harvest crops to restore the planet to its former beauty. In addition to that, players will have to build a base, reunite their crew, and develop relationships among them. By harvesting plants, players can then develop recipes and tools that they can use to restore the planet's ecosystem and make it habitable. Developed by Fireplace Games, On Guard is a swashbuckling action adventure set to hit Steam this August. Playing as the legendary swashbuckler and hero of the people, Adalia de Volador, you set out to defeat the tyrannical Count Duke in the Zorro-inspired action game. The combat will focus heavily on fencing and parrying, and players can use different skills and environmental interactions to defeat their enemies. 
This game was developed as a student passion project and will appeal to fans of sword-based combat. If you want to check it out, a demo is available on Steam right now. Developed by Datalook Entertainment and Atomic Torch Studio, Surviving Deponia is an upcoming survival crafting game based on a point-and-click adventure series and is set to hit early access later this year. Taking place after Deponia Doomsday, the series' most recent entry, you set out to solve the mystery of a water shortage on the garbage planet Deponia. You'll have to gather resources to build a base and defend it against monsters. You'll even meet familiar characters from throughout the series. While you don't have to have played any of the previous Deponia games to enjoy this one, personally I never played the series, no doubt there will be easter eggs for hardcore fans of the series. Space Gears, developed by Korean developer Pentapeak Studios, is an upcoming real-time strategy game that promises to take the micromanagement out of the genre, thereby allowing players to focus on defeating the enemy. Leading an army of mechs, you battle out with other armies for control of Mars. If you're into those old-school RTS games, but are put off by things like building management and resource gathering, this is a game that you should have on your radar. You can sign up for the upcoming playtests on the game's Steam page, which I'll link to in the description. Developed by XIXO Games, which I will not try to pronounce, which is a development studio consisting of two people and based in Spain, Enchanted Portals is a two-player co-op run-and-gun game with an art style similar to, well, you know. The game was previously announced a few years back via a Kickstarter which ultimately failed, and of course the trail was dragged for looking too much like, well, you know. Thankfully, thanks to Epic's Mega Grant, it received the funding that it needed and is on its way to being completed. Playing as a pair of apprentice wizards named Bobby and Penny, you explore different dimensions in order to find a magical book and return home. The game is set to be released on PC, along with all current generation consoles later this year. It's easy to write this off as a ripoff of, well, that game. But here's the thing. The game has its own original art and animation assets. If this were just another Unity asset flip, it wouldn't even have that. It's clear that the developers are putting forth effort into this game, and it should be noted that this is a two-person development team. Of course, there is the question of what it's doing to set itself apart from that other game, but if the gameplay holds up, you won't care while you're enjoying it. After all, how many Souls-like games are there out there? Anyway, the game is set to be released soon, so you can judge for yourself. The Precinct can best be described as classic top-down Grand Theft Auto if you were playing as a cop during the 1980s. Playing as rookie police officer Nick Cordell Jr., you patrol the streets of Averno City, You'll get involved in high-speed car chases, bank heists, and drug deals as you try to solve the mystery of your dad's death. The game will feature dynamic weather, procedurally generated crimes, and destructible environments. You can either go it alone or call in backup from your fellow officers. The game looks pretty ambitious and seeks to be a love letter to classic police movies. While there's no set release date, no doubt we'll learn more about the game throughout the next several months. The game's developer, Fallen Tree Games LTD, also released American Fugitive, a 2019 game with a similar style of gameplay. That's a pretty good game too, so I have high hopes for this title. Developed by Subcult Joint LTD and published by Rogue Games, Cookie Cutter puts players in the role of Cherry, 
a chainsaw-wielding android who's out to rescue her creator and girlfriend from a demented psychopath. A bloody Metroidvania gang with a unique art style and combat system, Cookie Cutter looks to be a perfect fit for fans of more hardcore Metroidvania games like Dead Cells and Blasphemous. It's set to release very soon on PC via Steam and Epic Game Stores, so it won't be long before you can check it out for yourself. Speaking of Metroidvanias, this upcoming title from Digital Mind Games puts players in the role of Takeshi, a Japanese samurai who must protect his village from an army of demons and the undead. Players will also take control of Kodama, a spirit, and Chisai, which is a cat. Each of these three characters will have their own skills and abilities. The stop motion graphics will get you to check out the game, no doubt, and hopefully the gameplay will keep your attention. The game is set to launch sometime in 2024 via PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and the Atari VCS. Wait, what? As you can see, there's a lot of great stuff coming from the indie scene. So again, if anything you saw caught your attention, use the links below to wishlist them and support the developers. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it to let your buddies know about these potentially awesome titles. And if you want to see more awesome videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave those notifications turned on. That way, whenever I drop new content, you'll get the word straight from the Don himself. If you want to see more previews of upcoming games, I got two whole playlists for you. There is the Assignment, which is my preview segment formerly known as the Shark Tank, where I look at game demos, and Trailer Takedown, where I break down upcoming game trailers. The links to them just popped up on your screen, so check them out. In the meantime, have a great week, and I'm Audi 51000G.